Hey, my name is Aiden, and this is Kazuha Character Analysis with Kazuha Build Guide starting right now. These new characters Mioyo is releasing seems to be getting more OP, and to start describing this Anizuma Samurai, passive Windsong Poetics grants teammates a 0.03% elemental damage bonus to their corresponding element after he swirls. For every point of elemental mastery he has for 8 seconds. We'll take a closer look at his skills in a sec, but to start, this samurai is going to be OP support giving massive elemental damage bonus to your team, which is going to be giving insane vaporize and melt numbers. If you put elemental mastery's hands, elemental mastery weapon, and he also comes with elemental mastery as ascension, making it very easy to hit at least 500 EM. What this means is that he's going to be pretty much a really good damage boosting support. Similar to Sucrose and Bennett, we have damage increasing characters like Bennett, Sucrose, C6 Diana giving 200 EM, Albedo Burst gives EM, Long Lee which reduces elemental resistance, but Kazuha is pretty much one of a kind increasing elemental damage bonus. So if you take a closer look at how damage is multiplied, you start with attack, some characters like Hu Tao has special abilities to get attack in different way, like for example her E skill makes her gain attack from max HP. But generally all characters will get their attack from the main weapon's base attack and the character ascension attack increase along with the feather and maybe attack percent from sands and pretty much the sub rolls with attack and attack percent. Then you got skills that will enable your character to do elemental damage. For example d -Look does pyro damage with his E. So you put pyro damage bonus with the cup then the E pyro damage will be doing more damage and it will be scaled to crit based on crit rate. Then it will be multiplied by the crit damage percentage that you have. Then if you melt it, then it will do 200% increased damage. And finally, elemental mastery will increase that melt damage. So if you have like 150 EM, then the melt damage will be finally do 225% increased damage. So pretty much Bennett increases attack, Sucrose Albedo C6 Iona increases EM, and finally Kazuha increases elemental damage, making him very unique. The reason why he is good is because elemental mastery works only when you do elemental reaction. So if you don't do elemental reaction with the attack, then you don't get any benefit. But with elemental damage increase, you don't need to do elemental reaction to get the damage increase. It straight up increases damage. To top it off, the rare essence set further increases elemental damage due to reducing 40% elemental resistance onto enemies. So just by using Kazuha, he is going to be really great support and possibly even be a main DPS as well. Let's take a closer look at Kazuha's skills and abilities. This Animo Sword character does 5 rapid strikes with 2 rapid sword strikes as charge attack and his base plunge attack percentage is identical to Xiao's. Kazuha's E skill called Jihayafuru unleashes a secret technique as fierce as the rushing wind that pulls objects and opponents towards Kazuha's current position before launching the opponents within the AoE, dealing Animo damage and lifting Kazuha into the air on a rushing wind current. Within 10 seconds of being in mid-air due to the effects of Chihaya Furu, and if maintaining a mid-air state, Azua can unleash a particularly powerful plunge attack known as Ranran Haishin. This skill comes with press and hold. Press can also be used in mid-air just like Xiao. When you hold, Kazuha charges up before unleashing greater Animo damage over a large AoE than press mode. When Kazuha performs a plunge attack while under the effect of his E skill, this plunge attack damage is converted to Animo damage and will create a miniature wind tunnel via a secret technique that pulls nearby objects and opponents in. This plunge attack is called Ran Ran Haishin and the damage is going to be Animo and plunge attack damage. At E skill level 10, press damage comes at 345%, hold damage at 469%, with cooldown at 6 seconds and 9 seconds respectively. One of his other passive talent called Weathery Blade actually works perfectly with this E skill. If Kazuha's E skill comes in contact with element, element absorption will occur during his E skill duration and it will deal additional 200% additional damage of that elemental type, which will be considered plunge attack damage. Kazuha's Q skill called Manyo no Ito is the ultimate RU technique, a single slash akin to coming storm that deals AoE Animo damage. The blade's passage will leave behind a field that deals AoE Animo damage at set intervals to opponents within it. If this Q skill comes into contact with Hydro, Pyro, Cryo, or Electro, it will deal additional elemental damage of that type 
At level 10, Kazuo will initiate this burst by doing 472% Animo slashing damage. He will create an Animo field which will do continuous dot damage at 216%. And while his ability is infused with element you choose to infuse with, that element will deal additional elemental damage at 64.8%. This skill comes at duration of 8 seconds. The skill is kinda like Venti's Q but does way more damage except doesn't get that Sunction ability from it. Taking a closer look at possible Kazuha build, it seems like equipping him with new 5 star sword is going to be the best choice because it comes with elemental mastery and you want to increase elemental mastery as much as possible because it gives extra elemental damage to your party members. 4 star weapons the alley flash and iron sting are going to be a great choice and the 3 star weapon dark iron sword is actually going to fit him well with Kazuha but note that you will need to be doing overload, superconduct or electro charge within the swirl to get additional 20% attack bonus. This weapon doesn't work with vaporize and melt. Because Kazuha do come with elemental mastery as ascension, you will be dishing out good animo damage and plunge attack damage. You can actually go with battle pass weapon or black clip weapon as crit which is essential for damage increase. We're going to have to take a closer look when Kazuha actually comes out to take on what would fit him well as for weapons. For the best artifacts, going for 4 piece for iridescent set seems to be the best choice because this 4 piece set gives 40% elemental resistance reduction onto enemies and also increases swirl damage. You're looking to swirl with Kazuha as much as you can. If you're running another Nemo character, Sucrose for example, you can equip iridescent set onto her and return she will be giving more elemental mastery to your whole team as well including Kazuha and you can focus on 2 piece iridescent along with 2 piece wonders getting even with more elemental mastery or you can go with 2 piece gladiator getting that 18% attack bonus. Kazuha should work extremely well with any animal character. To maximize elemental mastery to give maximum elemental damage to your team, you can go for all elemental mastery on his artifacts. I feel like the best way to build him is actually equipping sands with elemental mastery, animal damage on the cup, crit rate or crit damage on the hat along with elemental mastery as a weapon. You should be able to hit 450 elemental mastery with this and he will be also dishing out massive damage numbers himself with his skills. On to my final thoughts, I feel like this character is pretty OP. This character definitely makes your team take up huge standard. He will make your other main DPS characters pretty much do insane damage. And again, these new characters are pretty much getting better and better with unique skills and abilities. With Eula doing massive physical damage without even doing elemental reaction to do it, he pretty much made other main dps characters not as good just by having her you can deal massive dps and mihoyo's response was to release kazuha to fix this issue this is all i have for you today again this is my opinion on him and this is how i would build him if it was me let me know what you think about kazuha and if you have any ideas on how to build this character let me know in the comment section so as a community we can have a discussion going on while you're on cruise control help your boy out with a sub thanks for watching Make sure you have a great day. My name is Aiden and I will see you in the next video.